I was just uh, minding my own business in my garden and I came across a beetle. Well, I, actually, I came across two beetles. Uh, one was a click beetle and the other is what we sometimes refer to as a June beetle, a June bug. Uh, it's a scarab beetle and uh, I believe he was trying to find a mate because he was flying kind of slow and somewhat in the same vicinity not really moving too far away. In any event this is him. I say him because of the nature of the antenna that this one has, this particular specimen has. Um, you can see right here that it's sort of um, pronged and elongated and this allows for the beetle to um, find a mate. This guy is very slippery. Combined with his really excellent grabbing legs makes it very easy for him to slide out of my fingers. Um, uh, sometimes people refer to it as sort of a sticky feeling but it's really because his uh, forelegs are rather um, they're, they're rather, uh, I guess you might call them, uh, well, they're, they're barbed. So his barbed legs will uh, dig into your skin just a bit. It doesn't hurt, but it gives him purchase on your skin, which is soft. And that's what allows him to do what he's doing right now, which is getting away from me. Also, his, his shell, his carapace, is very very smooth so that makes him <laughs> very um, difficult to manage but I'll try my best so anyways um, so like a lot of scarab beetles in that family uh, which I believe is scar scarabidiceae or something like that but I'll, I'll annotate it on the video but these beetles uh, grow from grubs and they're really really good at destroying crops um, or grasses or ornamental plants that people will grow because the they eat roots uh, the grubs will eat the roots of grass or figs or things like that depending on the type of beetle and then they will pupate underground and then emerge and populate as an adult but uh, their main problem tends to be eating um, roots as a grub and so it is no exception with this June beetle um, I have the particular species but it's not coming to me right now but I've done research on these um, before and I will attempt I will give you the name right here and the family's name right here and uh, you can do your own research because different areas have different beetles and it's important for people who are interested to not confuse the two sometimes an identification can't be done um, by visual alone sometimes you need a microscope and a very very small uh, minute differences that tell you the different kinds of species that there are that you're dealing with here I think I've got them in a good grip but we're about to see if that's true. If you have any sort of interesting beetles or insects that live in your area, um, feel free to comment on that. I think that uh, one of the coolest things I find about these, these types of beetles is that they're so robust and they appear to be rather tenacious, <laughs> I guess is the best way to put it. Um, think they shrug things off pretty well because of their hard exoskeleton and um, lousy flying a lot of the times. They're very heavy and so as you can see it was very diff very easy for me to capture this particular one. Anyways, um, I'm signing off and I will let this guy go right now. Oh, that wasn't very impressive. Take two. There we go.